Replicating application data is an important component to using Site Recovery Manager. I'm Darren Schmitz with VMware, and in this fourth video of the series, I'll be showing the initial configuration of vSphere replication in my Google Cloud VMware Engine Private Cloud. Starting new replications can be initiated from the Site Recovery user interface by clicking on New. If there are business requirements that require dedicating a replication server to one or more applications, it can be done from this screen. The next task is to select the virtual machines that need to be replicated for the application. In this example, perhaps Ubuntu Serve 001, 2, and 3 belong to the application that needs to be protected. The data store and policies can be selected on the target, bringing us to the replication settings screen. The first option is selecting the recovery point objective. The slider can be adjusted between 5 minutes and 24 hours. The point in time instances are replication checkpoints that will be converted to snapshots during a recovery. The default is 3 instances that will be kept for 5 days, and each virtual machine can have up to 24. If VMware Tools is installed on the guests, OS quiescing can help ensure that in-flight I.O. is flushed to disk but may increase RPO times. Network compression can reduce bandwidth, and encryption can protect the data, but both come at the cost of some CPU resources and potentially a higher RPO. The replication wizard will also offer to create a protection group for the virtual machine selected. A protection group can be thought of as a boundary for virtual machines that need to fail or be migrated together due to interdependencies. A recovery plan for the application can also be created at this point in the process, whereas any additional modifications to the plan will need to be adjusted later. Once the details have been verified, clicking Finish will start the replications. Each replication's progress can be tracked by periodically clicking the Refresh button. While we wait for the data to be replicated to the other Google Cloud VMware Engine region, let's look at the protection groups and recovery plans that were just created. The protection group summary shows the number of virtual machines protected, the names of the virtual machines, and the recovery plans that the protection group belongs to. The recovery plans page is where the plan specifics can be customized for this application. More on this in the next video. Flipping back to check on the replications, once all the data has been replicated to the opposite site, a green status check mark indicates that the replication is OK and the data is now protected. Customizing the recovery plan, performing a test, and migrating the application will be shown in the next video in the series. To learn more about Google Cloud VMware Engine, visit our site at cloud.google.com slash VMware-Engine.